Hi guys, welcome back to a new th another video, but, oh snap, I feel like my mic is too loud. Okay, so, but it's not Sims, as you can see, and by the title, we will be talking about Wolf Quest 3. When I heard the news that Wolf Quest is having a third game that will be better, like it'll be better than the second one, it'll be better than the update, it will be new and improved more realistic and to me personally probably will be the best animal simulator ever of 2018 because it's coming out sometimes this year or will be announced its true date this year but no one's sure when and to me I hope no one's rushing the developers because games take a long time to develop it's not a simple thing it takes time and lots of con concentration and money and I can tell they're putting a lot of money from the last update into the third game I'm not sure if it's the final game but I'm pretty sure they will do DLCs and new things to make the game better and new because they made this game 10 years ago and then realized how much people love it they, they realized how lots of people love this game and they wanted to make it better so they came up with the update and but you had to buy it and it goes all towards the third game if I'm correct and here we are so let's start from the beginning uh, I believe Wolf Quest was released in 2009 I'm not 100% sure uh, and it it was it was popping but it wasn't as popular until maybe a few years later when youtubers were playing it and then this became this gave the game more advertisement more wording out there and then a lot of people were playing the game because it was so fun but then after a while you know it became dull for a little bit and then that's when the update came out and it made it a little bit more challenging they added new predators such as cougars and foxes and I was like wow it's so cool and I bought the game but sadly the game wasn't working with the launcher and I don't I didn't know why so they gave me a free version of what I had bought and thank you Wolf Quest team that was very very nice and I'm thinking of making a let's play and create and create a storyline of wolves like Siri Pixel Biologist did and I personally think like it would be a fun experience and I have experience with this game. I haven't played it in a, in a while. I haven't played it in a while and I think it would be a very interesting, you know, let's play. It would be a series about generation of generation and that is a realistic thing. I don't want to play it once. Okay guys, this is it. You know, I want to create a series for you guys. Not to mention there will be a DLC coming out. So I think it'd be cool if we make our original wolf like a great great grandparent and the family goes on this long journey and as for multiplayer i hope like wolf quest 3 will still have multiplayer and me and my friends could do some things as well so all right let me see here i i have the youtube channel on my phone and i have went through so many things but let's just talk about the new game. The new game is new and improved. It's still in Yellowstone, so for everyone who's asking them to make the map bigger, they are making it bigger, but it is going to be based on Yellowstone. It's going to be based on the place where it all began. Begin. Uh, I cannot speak. Where it all started. <laughs> it's going. It's it's where. It's a real place. Yellowstone National Park, I think, is what it's called, and. The creators go there, they're making heels look just like it, and I kind of like got a bit emotional when I saw like the creator of the game where you go and find your den. You know, there's the three spots where you go and find your den, then there's, I don't, pro I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, Slot Creek, <laughs> and, and, and that is where most pups have died, sadly, I know very sad and 
I, I, I was like, wow, it's so beautiful in person. And it, it just reminded me of all the times I've lost so many pups by that river and have survived with so many. And I'm just so excited. Like, I am so impressed. I'm happy that the Wolf Quest team didn't give up on this game because I was like, this game needs more. It has such potential. You know, like, think of Five Nights at Freddy's. Like, Scott Cough, like, Scott, he turned hate into the most successful horror game of our generation like even if you aren't a friend of five nights at freddy's you will still remember it and how the game improved and how he probably made it to be a cute little horror game but then it exploded he put so much thought into it and that's what it's like with this game it's like like it i know it has tons of potential and now they're doing it and let's talk and compare now let's talk about the wolves of course the wolves of the first game the second game which is the update and the third game first wolves if you look it up or even go download the game yourself and play it because the older version is for free the game looks you know a little weird the wolves look weird and not that realistic the fur is not that weird either and you really can't customize the eyes you can't customize you really oh sorry about that guys my mic was doing something weird you can't really you know you just choose traditional pelts and they weren't that very realistic and then the up the second update the wolves looked so much better they looked realistic you the fur was nice you can it looks like fur then like a wolf that where the fur looked a little bit drawn on and I'm so proud of the team of how they developed the wolf I think they are keeping a little bit of design from the second game and putting in the third game but a little bit better and I'm very happy and impressed with them and you can customize the eyes and they said themselves there will be no blue eyes or green eyes it's all realistic and honestly I've never seen or heard about a wolf with blue eyes like I, I, I don't think wolves were meant to have blue eyes like they only have blue eyes when they're pups I always like I don't, I don't know why because I remember I used to role play on multiplayer wolf quest and literally every person would be like I'm a white wolf with blue eyes I don't know what is what's everyone's obsession with white wolves with blue eyes since you really don't see them you only see them maybe like in fan fiction and maybe in art but like in real life I've never seen them unless they are like uh, a wolf dog mix but anyway I believe you're gonna be like think of like think of Sims 4 like the the details and customization is more like deep like and more in depth and I think that's what's gonna be happening in wolf quest the eyes the fur Maybe you can have, you know, like personality traits for your wolf. I'm not sure. And we will be talking about personalities and wolves soon. But the wolves look great. And I'm not sure if we, if you can choose stamina anymore. Because if in the older game, you can pick your how fast your wolf is. You can, or how much stamina they have or how much strength they have and when you have too much of something it affects your wolf dramatically so if you have a really strong wolf they may not be the fastest or the strongest no not the strongest or have they have higher stamina wow that sounded so stupid <laughs> I, I don't know why I got tongue tied right there but you guys get what I mean or if you have a wolf with high stamina they may not be the fastest or if you have a wolf that's super duper fast, they may not be they like they'll they'll lose their breath really quickly. And I really love how the game teaches you about consequences. If you have too much of something, because you cannot have a perfect wolf. And I remember back in the early days of Wolf Quest, people would try to cheat to get all the stats on 100%. And to me, that took the fun out of the game because that was the whole point of consequences. And how, you know, your wolf is not going to be perfect. 
and it removes the challenge in my eyes. It removes the challenge of the game and okay my screen blacked out for a moment. Uh, it removes the challenge from the game and you know it's just not as fun so I hope they really fix that cheat because it was really unfair seeing people do that. It's like nah that, that's the whole purpose of the game is to be challenged as a wolf. You cannot be perfect. Like, even animals have imperfections. So there's that. Um, I'm not sure what else I should talk about. Oh yes, the running animation of the wolf. Now I'm not sure, the running looks a little bit stiff in the third game, but that's because they're slowly working on it. They're slowly working on on making it more realistic and these people do study wolves they study wolves in Yellowstone National Park like I said and you know they're trying to make sure everything is realistic as possible and make sure that it is true to the tr to the animal and I'm very impressed on how they're doing that because the run oh my recorder thing was up the run oh Okay guys, I don't know what happened, but you're just going to have to look at this little gray side. I was trying not to let you guys see that, but for some reason doesn't want to go full anymore, but alright. So I kind of forgot what I was talking about. I believe I was talking about, because I have it like all on my phone in or order on what I wanted to talk about. But I believe I was talking about how I was so grateful for the creators of doing their best of really trying to make things realistic as possible. And that's what... I'm really hoping for but so far the run looks nice and now we're going to talk about the scents and sounds now in the old game all you have to do is sniff the little sniff but look at the ground and follow the trail but I believe in the new game to follow a scent like there will be actually be particles in the air rather than you know looking actually at the ground like it'll be in the air and of course still on the ground but it'll be in the air and kind of more detailed and it won't go away too quickly and maybe who knows like when it rains because everyone knows when it's raining you know a scent is kind of all over the place which is why like think about lions in africa they have a higher chance of hunting because their scent is being washed away from the rain if i'm correct i'm not 100 percent sure but i'm but i that's what i remember and that goes for any other predator the, 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 that's why you know prey is up and attentive because they know they cannot s smell well because you know scent is a very important animal what's the word ability yes ability and prey may not have the best eyesight but they have good hearing and smell that is you know so maybe our the scent will be affected when it rains in the game, which I think would make the challenge even harder and very um, entertaining in a challenge. Of course, I wouldn't be shocked if someone was, you know, going to edit the game to turn the rain off. But the, that's the whole point of World Quest. Like I said, it's for the challenge. And as for sounds, the music is going to be different. They are remaking the music as well. More very deep bass guitar like music um, for each and every one of the animals. And that's what I also love. They, they did their research when it comes to making video games music and movies and in video games truly affects the audience. Like if you're playing a horror game, you know how during a chasing scene you get really scared right but the music makes it 10 times scarier and that's why music plays a very important role in video games and they're doing a really good job making it like when you're hunting making it dramatic and kind of all over the place but but focusing on the wolf and mixed in with the elk's theme and making it upbeat and very very fast and very very chaotic because you're hunting and then the animals going nuts because it's being hunted so they're doing good what I'm hoping for the wolf I'm hoping that the wolf will have very smooth running you know that looks like the real life wolf I'm hoping that you know the ears will twitch I'm hoping that um, you can 
your tail will flick. I'm hoping that when you growl, it can truly like, cause there's, I believe in the update, if you press G, you can growl. And there's another pack of wolves, if you pay attention, like, cause if you remember in the older game, you never physically see the other wolves, but if you cross their territory, another wolf will pretty much run up to you and the game will be like, oops. But in the, the second game, you can physically see the wolf pack and I remember being taken back when I saw them for the first time because I wasn't used to seeing them they're growling and of course they don't want to take their chances with you especially with pups because you will fight for the death for them so they're literally like okay go away stay as far away from my territory as possible so I wonder pressing the G button will that affect you know the other wolves without you having to go up to them Will that affect bears? Will that affect coyotes? I think that should it should because when I feel like I growl, it's doing nothing. You know, I would like it if like another wolf was trying to eye my puppies, I could just press the growl button and then they kind of look hesitant. Like you know, the game could say something like the other wolf is a bit hesitant because of your growl, something like that. And I'm also hoping for. Um, having a nuzzle button for the mates and having and being able to nuzzle my pups and maybe groom them I think that would be cool and make it more realistic and just so darn cute like like the wolves are cute when they're not hunting and being you know predators they are cute they're like you know they're just so cute and friendly with each other when they're all relaxed and being lazy so the enemies comparing the new to the new and old enemies now, the enemies we had were just bears and coyotes, but now we have bears, coyotes, foxes, and cougars, and now other wolves are a threat to our pups because in the second update, if a wolf comes over to your territory, because of course in the older game, if another wolf comes to your territory, you have to confront them, but another wolf can sneak into your territory and do an attempt to kill your pups. And this was a shocker. I I never had a stranger wolf kill my pups because I never let the territory mark go down. But I was watching Siri Pixel Biologist do it and her pup's neck got snapped in half. And that was just like, whoa! Or at least that's how it looked. Like it, he, it, it picked up the puppy and it looked like it snapped its neck, but I'm not sure. But that's what it looked like to me. But like it really takes you back and this is another reminder of how important territory marking is. And a lot of people forget to mark their territory, but even in the old game, it, it makes it pretty clear, mark your territory, mark it, mark it, don't, 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 like, they don't ever forget, because I remember, like, there were coyotes and bears left and right, and then I realized when I wasn't marking my territory, they were coming at me at full force, and when I marked my territory, it kept them at bay, and I was so happy that it was keeping them at bay, because it was, it was so much, it was like, I was being attacked left and right then I was confronted by a wolf who stumbled upon my territory who didn't know it was my territory because my scent was so low so as for cougars I heard you can just find them chilling on rocks now since they're making mountains and cliffs more realistic you'll probably see them there especially like if you're hunting and you chase an elk near a cliff you know they'll probably be there and they'll try to get your puppies too. They will try. They will try to get your puppies as well. To, you know, because that's another less enemy to deal with and it's a snack. And, and I'm just like, you know, I'm very impressed by how the second, well, the second game did good and how terrifying the predators are in this game already. You know, it's like, how will the third game be? It's probably going to be terrifying, especially on how the bears look. The bears, compared to the old and new, the bears in the older game looked fat. They looked very fat. They were very stiff in their movement. They never growl, they only roared when you attacked them. 
and now in the newer game they have more movement the the ears twitch they sit down they groom themselves they stand up on their pine legs and i wasn't i was intimidated by this i was just like oh my lord and the music for the for the bears is different and you know how when you first notice a bear it, it, it starts with a drum going do 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 but now it's the the guitar is more deep and scary and intimidating and like i said music plays an important role in video games and just hearing that music and looking at the new model of the bear because you can if you go to the wolf quest youtube i will leave their their uh youtube channel link below and if you look at the bear i like they look pretty scary like in the first game you know they were scary because you know you could die but it's like oh i could always respawn you know they're not that you know they're scary but it's like you know when i don't have pups they're not intimidating you know i could just steal their carcass you know i could just you know and that's also another thing i hope for like a bear is the perfect example of if I growl, I do want it to affect them. So maybe the bear will look hesitant or maybe growl back and stand up on its hind legs to be intimidating. You know, realistic stuff like that. And I also hope the mates will be able to growl as well. And as for the coyotes, I think their theme is the same. You know, I think it's just you know all about being mischievous. And the older coyotes, you could kill them. You could kill them without... A single thought you could kill them so quickly and so easily like you don't even have to worry about them a lot without without um, you know your pups but with your pups you have to worry about them but the whole main thing to get rid of them is to kill them and that is a problem because in the third game they showed a preview of the coyotes they are extra intelligent if you steal a carcass from them, they're not going to give it up easily like in the older game. They will nip at your heels. They'll they'll follow you. They'll do this. They'll do that. They'll literally pester you until you give up the carcass. And if they can't do that, what do what do real coyotes do? They'll sit and wait. Or they'll try to dart past you and to secretly grab a piece of the carcass they had found. And I do like it how if you find carcasses in the game, I believe it's in the second game as well, they're not new, freshly stacked elk. Like they're rotten, nothing but bone. Because it's obvious that this elk is, you know, has been there for a while. And I love that how the body is more realistic. Like you can see the intestine. Like the, the creators of the game have done their a really good job studying these animals and how the body is rather than it just turning red and and not to mention how you eat is also different that I forgot to have in the topic about comparing the wolf and that is how you eat like you could actually rip off flesh and your wolf can you can physically see your wolf eat a chunk of meat rather than it just you hear a crunching noise I also hope that when my wolf eats like you can it'll actually be on the carcass because if you know Back when you made your wolf eat, it would just make a crunchy noise and his mouth wouldn't even be near the carcass. It would just be weird. So that's that about the enemies. And let's talk about the elk. Oh boy. We will be having some new prey. We'll be having, um, let me look at their YouTube channel, Deer because it is called Picnic in the Grass and I was like what are you talking about and then I looked at the at the description they are adding mule deer and mule deer fawns are born and so we'll have elk and mule deer in the spring and we can hunt we can hunt fawns we can hunt fawns I'm not sure if we can have if we can hunt elk babies because I'm pretty sure the moms would be extremely protective but it would be a team effort with between you and your mate. And it says here they're named for their large eel their large ears and they're very common in Yellowstone in the summer, though in much smaller numbers than elk. Mule deers may sometimes gather in small groups, but they do not form large herds. They live in in varied habitats throughout Yellowstone, bushy areas, grasslands, and 
forest. Their top speed is 72. Um, oh. Okay, my mouth, my mouth, my, my, my mic is doing weird stuff. Okay. So, they're faster than a wolf and they can change direction with a single bound. Mule deer often use a distinctive bounding leap called starting I don't know what that is, or pronking, that allows them to cover uneven terrain. So it would make sense why we would go after the fawns. And it looks like here the fawns are going to be a problem, but they are cute. But you know, it's either my babies or their babies. And <laughs> and so we'll have mule deer, and it would make sense why they would be adding more animals. I hope they add birds too. Because you can hear the birds, but you never see them. You never see them on the ground. Um, that's the same thing with vultures. You see them in the sky, but you never see them physically trying to eat the carcass. So I hope they'll add vultures. Um, and as for elk, maybe have some elk calves, like I said. And as for the theme for the elk, I think it's the same. I think it's the same. As for the deer, I'm not 100% sure what their theme and music is. This video is going to be pretty long of me rambling about this game, so be warned already, even though we're already deep into it. So I'm not sure how we're going to be hunting the fawn. It says here that they're going to be pretty fast, so I know they're not, it's not going to be very easy. Not to mention, I'm pretty sure you're going to have to be careful because if the mother sees you, she's probably going to be like protective or trying to play not dead but play injury because I do hear that some other animals will pretend to be injured to lure the predator away from her baby and leave the baby having a chance to escape but you know I'm not sure if mule deer do that and there we will have a different way of biting elk because in the older game as you guys remember you bite the, the elk by the butt and that is unrealistic so if you look at their video how to buy an elk on the Wolf Quest YouTube channel, you bite their legs and they can kick you, you can bite their their neck, you can bite, you know, anywhere, but it's more realistic and the elk is actually struggling and very, very highly smart. So I do find that also interesting on how hunting is gonna be in the third game, because in this first and second game, it was easy once you get the hang of it and once you know what to do, but now it's a little bit harder. And now we have more prey choices. So we have elk, mule deer, and rabbits. I'm not sure if they'll still keep the rabbits, but I hope they do because rabbits were like a nice meal, <laughs> like a little snack because that's all it was, was a tiny snack. So now let's talk about the pups, the puppies. Now, Wolf Quest was asked, will we have the puppies and see them when they're newborns. They'll say, oh, well, they'll be completely useless and they'll be in the den, but maybe, maybe we'll see them or maybe they'll add them as newborns and, you know, you can just go outside, eat and all that stuff. You'll never know. You'll never know what they're going to do because they have been surprising everybody so far. But as for the pups, they age, like they age, they get bigger. They're not just little balls of fluff. They actually start growing in their teeth. Their fur naturally starts to change. They start, they start to get taller, which will explain like why your wolf can't carry them for long periods of time. Because if anyone knows, when they are little baby puppies, like your wolf could carry them for hours on end. But since they're bigger, your wolf can't carry them too long, and they're heavier and meatier, and it's just a, a challenge. Remember all those times you tried crossing the river and your wolf accidentally drops them in the river? Yes, that has happened. Ugh. So many times. Um, but yes, yes, and genetics are going to be taken seriously with the puppies as well. They have a video about that and the puppies will have in new animations as well you can play with them more and like I said I'm extra excited 
you know, I, like I said, I, I hope there's there's going to be um, new animations. There's going to be on uh, like more interactions with the pups because in the first game you really couldn't do nothing with the pups but howl and feed them. But in the second game you can bow because that was your way of playing with them. Or you could roll on your back and then they'll wag their tails and all that stuff. So I do hope you could nuzzle them. I do hope maybe you could lay down and they could play with your tail. Maybe crawl on you when you're laying down. Or and maybe your growling and your barking could also affect the well, wait, wolves don't bark. Okay, your growling will affect the pups as well because, as you know, the pups during the training process will wander off trying to go places and this is a plays a major role when you're a wolf because it's like, no, 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 you can't go anywhere. You have to stay here. You have to stay here where I can see you. So, I am hoping that you know like I said growling will also affect the other animals so if the pups try wandering off you can growl when they start going too far as a warning and then maybe they'll whimper and come back I mean that's just a thought that could be put into the game and um, and you cannot customize your pups you cannot customize your pups um, you it's all about genetics and I really like that so sorry people you cannot customize your pups if you're asking but the wolf quest is coming out with a DLC which your pack can do it's a storyline and I'm curious to what it is but I am curious to if it has something to do with humans because I noticed the team has been touchy with the thought of humans because in the normal single player, you cannot go too far away from your puppies because the game will remind you. But like in the first game, I'm not sure if it's still in the second game, but in the older game, if you go to this little secret spot, you can come across a farm and steal some calves, some baby calves. I don't know if that's how you call them, baby cows, calves, I believe so. And you can try to hunt those, but the but if you go too close to the adult cows they will start to freak out and then a farmer will come out after with the, the dogs start barking and will shoot you which is why hunting is very 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 um dangerous when being near humans and not to mention if you are in multiplayer and you go and explore the map because it's because the multiplayer that's also hoping is that in like multiplayer we will also have a bigger map as well so in multiplayer by where the wolves would be you know the other wolf territory but they're gone because this is your world they're gone the NPCs where the other wolves are gone but that would be interesting seeing them in multiplayer because you can maybe fight or something like that so if you go near the woods where you take the pups to complete the mission there is a fire pit and there is a sign with I think a human hiking and in the second game they have a radio collar and occasionally a plane will fly overhead so I'm very 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 curious to what to if they're going to add humans in the third game or if they will be in importance to the DLC. It's very, 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 very interesting to me on how they are playing around with humans, like the signs of human life and how, of course, your main reaction since you're a wolf, what is this doing here? But you've got to remember Yellowstone National Park humans are there all the time to study the animals and study the wolves and the wolves have no idea what's going on especially with a radio collar around their neck they don't have they have no idea what's on them they're confused it's like you know a big you know mystery to what these strange creatures are so what do i so that's so that's all i want in the game so what else do i would like in the game you know just simple details such as growling ear twitching you know animations to where you know that are cute like i said before 
and you know I'm very excited and I'm really hoping like you can hunt with your pups and have a new generation. I know that's going to be hard to play around with but I'm pretty sure the team can figure it out and and I wonder how it's going to be because when you have a second litter those your first whatever how many puppies you have that survived your first litter will help you with the second litter and that will be so much easier because in the second game you and your friends can have a litter together and looking at the the let's plays of the of all of that it looks so much easier because your friends aren't computers and you know it's like when you when you work in a team raising puppies is so much easier some guard some hunt and then you take turns and then all of you guys can rest you know so i just wonder what the wolf quest team is going to do when the pups get older are we going to hunt with them or is it going to be the same old we take them to the journey and and that's it and all we have to do is wait for the dlc i'm very i'm not sure but i'm wondering what's gonna become of the wolf quest 3 but i'm very excited for this game to be coming out like you know they say the game the new game will be free download but you have to pay for the dlc and since this game games take time and money like i said so maybe they should make their own merch store which can support the game and can support yellowstone national park because they also made this game to bring awareness to the wolves there and to help people understand the lives of these animals so maybe they should have a merch store i would totally buy you know a mug a wolf mug or something like that plushies man because i love plushies they're so cute so what do you guys think of wolf quest 3 i know this is just a boring video of me rambling about my opinions of the game and what i think is impressive it's probably boring but I'm just so excited and I picked this picture on purpose. I don't know if I said it before because if I'm correct, this is the long journey picture. This is picture pops up when you and your mate have to take the pups and go on your journey. And that's why I picked this picture to show and for the background as I ramble on about the game. So I hope you guys aren't disappointed that this isn't a sims 3 video but i hope you guys are very excited about the new game that is coming and everything that's going on with wolf quest and i might do a series of wolf quest because i have extreme experience with the game and it'd be interesting creating a family tree and creating a legacy and then when the third game comes out our beginner wolf could be like a great great grandparent or something like that and then i could end the series for a while until the third game comes out who knows we'll just have to wait and see but anywho uh i'll see you guys next time thank you guys for listening to me ramble on about how awesome this game was and what i expect and comparing the new versions to the old versions and you know it was very interesting talking all about it so I'll see you guys later. Goodbye!